Oh man, that one throttled it. <laughs> Are we keeping? We're catching cook? How many do we have? All right, yeah, keep one more. Yeah. One. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Tom Bully Fishing. I'm here with my good friends, Shelby, Tom, Mitch, and my husband, Josh. And we're out here catching crappies Crop today. dogs. <laughs> that was too fake. <laughs> I thought it was good. Thank right. you. Okay, Shelby, we're... back it up. You, do, you try your best one now. We are going to catch some crappies, and we're hopefully you're going to catch enough where we can do a catch and cook. Stay tuned. <laughs> What'd you forget? You forgot the key phrase. Oh, I know. Kayla knows subscribe. it. Please subscribe to our channel. It helps me out a lot. Well, Tom, I'm talking like Tom. It helps me out a lot. It hopefully helps you guys out too. Stay tuned. That was good, Kayla. Punch go. it out. <laughs> All right, holes are punched. We're gonna get two fish in. I'm the last one to start here, but we're gonna be going with my long hole up and rod. Elliott Evolution, 44 inch ultralight. Too much fun catching fish. And look at the way that rod loads up. Very parabolic, a lot of backbone. You can actually do a lot of things with these rods. So it's got this perfect crappie tip, where if you put a, just the weight of a jig on there, it will load that tip so you can see the up bites. You know, a lot of times your rod, when you're fishing, might look like this. Bite, doom, goes perfectly straight and slack. And obviously a down bite, you're gonna see that thing go. So very important to have a rod that you can see that tip real well and it'll load under the way of the jig so you can detect a lot of those up bites. The business end, we're going Acme Pro Grade Tungsten in a four or a five mil gold, which is just a little, it's some kind of Berkeley plastic. We always get asked about plastic. And uh, somewhere here, I might be able to find them. No, that's not the right one there. Somewhere here we got one of the right ones. Well, we got a whole bunch of different kinds of plastic. This is like some kind of Berkeley. I think it's like, they call it a Mayfly, a little tiny pink plastic. So we're gonna get rocking and roll with that. And hopefully get the job done. Found it in place right there. Oh yeah, here's the suicidal one. Hooked up. Fish on right there. Feels like a better fish. Not super huge, but a nice one. Surly knows I got one on. There's a decent copy right there. Nothing crazy big, but a decent one. I got just a stack of them down there right now. There he is, about a nine incher. I'm gonna let that one go real quick. Oh, here we go. Oh, he just was hanging on it there. Feels like a decent fish. That one just shot up and just sat there with it once a bit. That's a nice crappie right there. That is what we're after for sure. Definitely a little bit better fish. We'll take them like that all afternoon long. That's what I'm talking about. I'll let that guy go, get him back. I love fighting fish on these longer rods. It is just way more fun than fighting them on kind of the standard crappie, you know, 30 inch rod. I have no idea why, but it is just a ton of fun. Oh yeah, one's flying up, flying up. Got, got, it. It. got it, oh, hooked up. Ooh, is it nicer? Feels nicer. Good work. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. look at that guy. Look at that guy. Shelled dog with a crop dog. You love crop fishing. I do. Yeah, nice one. He is a nice one. Are we keeping? We're catching cook? How many do we have? All right, yeah, keep one more. Yeah. Fine. Josh is hooked up too with probably a monster. Oh, uh, I don't know. you need a net? <laughs> Get oh my <laughs> gosh, it's huge. <laughs> this is one fish, this top red one. I want that one. I need to see some movement here. Here comes one. Oh yeah, just absolutely slack line at that time. Feels like a decent fish. Probably the last one I need for a fish fry here. There we go, look at that. Another nice crappie. I feel like you can catch them on gold pretty much anywhere you go. And that is a quality stack of fish down there. So I'm not gonna tuck too much, I'm gonna keep dropping. I'll try to get down to these guys quick. Cause I got so many of them down there right now. And keep working through the pod. Look at that stack of fish. Shelby's going down right now. When she gets to like down here, she's gonna catch one. Nice. Oh, he's on. 
We could decent one, huh? Oh no. Could be, we're all tangled up. Deucer's all tangled. Oh, my first one of the day. Oh, nice one! Oh, that's yeah. a good one, too. Holy crap, don't lose that, dude. <laughs> Get your hand wet. Uh, Quit being a girl go. about it. I'm a girl. Well, I just wanted to catch one on camera, and here it is. Took the rod from me. Thank you for watching. Nice one. Can we keep this one, Shelby? What's the yeah. Part? Yeah? That one's nice. How many do All we right. have? A couple. Okay. Yeah. There they are. Working our way to that shore launch. Here you go, take the rod back. Okay. Back down for more. Hooked up. This one doesn't feel too bad. Not too bad. Back it goes. I got hooked up on this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know. Sounds good. Another crappie in the books. Oh, Josh has got one. Big one? No. No. But another one. Another one. Crappies for days. All right. Time for the shore lunch fish fry. We're gonna clean up a few crappies. We're gonna take some home and eat them later, but uh, we are gonna clean up a few and have a little shore lunch out here, uh, which is one of just, I don't know, the great things about ice fishing is that, uh, you know, a lot of times, especially on this body of water, you can stop on shore and uh, do a little fish fry. And who doesn't love a crappie fish fry on a cold winter's day? Crappies are super easy to clean too. You just kind of go right down the back, right over top of the rib cage. And just like that, this one's kind of frozen because it's not super warm out today. Just like that, beautiful golden. Well, he's not golden yet, but he's gonna be golden soon. Beautiful white, tasty crappie filet. Take that skin off. And boom, look at that. That is just all you can ask for. We'll take that little bit off right there. Beautiful crappie filet. So we're gonna clean a few of these up, throw them in the old frying pan, and uh, start a little fire and have a good old fashioned rustic fish fry. Stay tuned, because it's gonna be good. off-roading but uh, this looks like a gorgeous spot for a little fish fry would you say Mitchell get a shot of the sunset I already did I already did you already got the sunset I'm ahead of you buddy was it good was it scenic oh it was beautiful was it what we're looking for exactly all right so anyways beautiful spot we're gonna get a little fire going here in the fresh pow as Mitch would call it and uh, <laughs> fry some fish all right today I'm cooking with Tom we got a nice little fire going here, bag of flour, and a bag of fish, and some Lori's seasoning salt. Also have some other secret ingredients in here in the flour, but we're gonna give it a healthy dose of some seasoning salt. Don't kind forget of, the whole stick of butter. I'll do, we'll do the whole stick of butter, Mitchell. Yeah. Anyways, I always like to come prepared with stuff in bags. We're gonna take our fish fillets right into the bag. Kind of do like you know three four at a time i'd say and uh then you just kind of jumble them up mix them on up get them all get them all battered up nicely what do you think Mitchell? are you laughing at my tactics oh, or what amazing oh no <laughs> it came open mitchell <laughs> anyways the fire's probably hot enough now where we can add a nice little stick of butter and uh i go for the whole stick of butter mitchell's more like a half stick kind of a guy aren't you Sure. All right, it's really full easy. stick of butter going in. Let that simmer down. And get all nice and melty goodness in there. Ooh, and that pan is hot. She's gonna be cooking soon here. In the meantime, I'm gonna keep mixing these guys up, get them all battered up nicely. And once that pan's just rocking and rolling, we'll dip them in the grease. All right, fish going in. That butter's just a sizzling. That is what we like to see. Big mistake here would be to put the fish in 
when it's not sizzling. Then you get less crispy fillets. Once she's sizzling real nice, put them on there. And in a moment here, we'll be eating good. That is what it's all about right there. Too many times when I get in the water, I am a high, I wouldn't say stress, but I'm incredibly high energy, go, go, go. And we rarely take the slower route and do stuff like this, but um, it is a lot of fun and definitely worth doing. A lot of times I'm just so on the go, I don't even want to stop and do anything like this, but taking the slower route sometimes where it's at. All right, first bite. We're gonna sneak a little before everybody else. Mmm. Mmm. Tastes good. Good. That is what it's about right there. Surly. Surly, do we get your approval? Oh, yeah. That's why you go with butter, big dog. It's so much better than going with other yeah, stuff. This is good. Wow, I like this yeah. service. All right, you guys are official taste testers. I'll try that. Looks delicious. Does butter. It? Lots of butter. It's more burnt than it Mmm. Good though? Mm hmm. Butter is the way to go. I have to grab it. Mmm. Is it Shelby? Oh, is it still it warm? It is. Hollow. Mm hmm. Oh, that is good. All right, we're going to make one final drop today. It's kind of like the last cast. You got to make about 20 or 30. Oh my gosh, and look at this. Oh my gosh, we are hooked up. That is the way you want to end the day. Great day of crappie fishing, store lunch, and still catching them. Too much fun. Look at that. Sun is going down. Crappies are biting. How can you beat it? Gorgeous winter day in the ice. Oh, man. oh my gosh, is he hooked well. There he is. Let's let him go. Too much fun. Oh, look at that. Right there. Oh. oh. Fish on. Had to get one. Last one. He is so wrapped up in my deucer though. But nice crappie. We'll get him unhooked here. Tons of fish today. High in the water column, chasing baits down. Slack lining on the way out. Too much fun. Alright, that is officially the last one. Go back down, buddy. Go to your home. You can catch you again then tomorrow. All right, that is gonna do it for today's video. I do appreciate you guys watching. We got the crappie crew behind us here and uh, we caught a whole bunch of crappies today, did we? We sure did. did. Who caught the most? Me. I know it wasn't Mitch. Caitlin, I, it, it was not, not me. Mitch. I didn't fish. It's Caitlin. Was it Caitlin? Caitlin? Yeah. yeah. Who's right. Caitlin? Caitlin, Caitlin crappie queen of the day. She <laughs> caught the most fish, but we're gonna get out of here. The sun is going down. The bite is slowing up. No night bite on this lake, but great day on the ice. Um, shore launch and uh, yeah, caught a ton of fish. So appreciate you guys watching. I'm gonna pass it off to the ladies to punch this one out and end the video. This is on. All Happy on New us. Year, folks. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. All right. It was but a super fun day. We caught a lot oh. of fish. Had some good fish to eat and it was awesome. Thanks for watching.